Cool. So let's fast forward. You know, you went through all those learnings, you found this team, you know, you found your design partners. Let's fast forward to starting to like, you know, think about selling the thing and going to market. How did things change um, again from like you know, pitching an idea to a product? And what are, you know, some of your biggest learnings about winning those first like real sold, you know, five or 10 customers? Yeah. I mean, the first 10 is definitely absolutely the hardest. And I think, um, Everyone says that because it's true. <laughs> and for us, it was really about being extremely targeted about our outbound as far mm. as who do we want our first 10 customers to be. And um, we had a hypothesis that high growth tech companies were going to be those early adopters. And part of the reason for that is because for high growth tech companies, their people are the most important asset. And leave is one of these oh, yeah. paper sensitive moments in someone's life. There are very few moments like this where you can either, you know, fall more in love with your company because you feel so supported mm -hmm. or just, you know, fall completely out of love with your company and leave them entirely. Yeah. And leave is one of those key moments. So we had a hypothesis that tech companies want to be these early adopters. That proved to be true in a lot of different ways. Also, COVID kind of accelerated that because tech companies became very distributed. There's a whole regulatory landscape that we're solving. So that helps too. But mm -hmm. that was our initial hypothesis. And so what we wanted to do is find kind of early adopter people leaders who were at these high growth companies. And initially, I can tell you exactly how we built our outbound list, which is I literally found on LinkedIn <laughs> a list of people leaders who are part of this community called People Tech Partners, which is a very well-known um, people community uh, here in kind of the Valley and more broadly among, among the tech community who are known mm -hmm. to be early adopters of new HR products. Amazing. And so I pretty much just searched for that on LinkedIn, built a target list. And essentially, Mahima and Eimer and I kind of went through and just thought about, okay, who do we know at every single company here on this short list that we could get a warm intro to one of these people leaders? And so that's how we found our first, you know, 10 or so customers, whether it was um, Notion, you know, like Christina Cordova over there, who Amber and I had worked with, um, and then uh, whether it's Carta, for example, Benchling, uh, Meg over there at Benchling was in introduced to one of our investors, Carta, um, similar, similar, uh, similar introduction as well. Mm -hmm. And once we got those first 10 who believe in the vision, and by the way, um, our, our first, call it two, <laughs> Carta and Benchling bought Cocoon before we even you know, wrote a single line of code just on the idea of like, how do you validate first before you yeah. build, right? We literally only had a Figma prototype when we signed Carta and Benchling because they saw the just dramatic change in the vision that we had. 